Hey guys and welcome back to the Geek Box and as you can see today I've got a slightly different setup than I'd normally have as I'm doing something I haven't really done this channel before well so I haven't attempted since years about my old channel but as it is a special occasion for me I want to do an unboxing for Doom Eternal as I've been waiting for this game for so long it was obviously supposed to come out back the 22nd of November last year and instead we get it now in March Luckily it came out a couple of days early, so I've been able to pick it up earlier on today. So let's have a look at what's inside the collector's edition for Doom Eternal. Oh, so yeah, we're going to put this as the centre stage. And this is the box it comes in. So you can see all the nice bits we've got here. This is the extra download, or the hell stuff. Obviously this is the main pack inside, we'll find. I have to say as well, this is really light, as in... Uh, this is about the same size package as uh, the Fallout 76 that I got with the Power Armor helmet that you see in my videos. Uh, but this is definitely lighter. Also, sorry, the focus is jumping around a bit there, so it's trying to look at the box and look at me. Uh, obviously, yeah, but this is the box. I love this. Sim. This is like a future tattoo for me to go in my games. You can see I have my own plenty of tattoos of this. Uh, oh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and also we've got the artwork side itself. Oh, I'd have dropped that in the middle of this video and I would have made it uh, interesting. So, anyway, I'm going to get this open, skip for the video a little bit for you guys. You haven't got to watch there. We're messing around with the tape. So, <laughs> okay, I'm glad we skipped ahead for that one because that box actually took longer than I expected it to, to open. So, uh, the tape on the top came straight off. The tape on the bottom, which obviously had to hold the weight of it against the outside case so it's really really thick like it's just that circle tape but it was really really thick crap so i don't have to fight it with a pair of scissors but all right so we start off with i'd have to guess this is the artwork book now which you can see actually that light shine it quite nice there for till you can see that logo in there that's actually a, just a plain see-through logo they've put on there but once that overexposed light actually made some good. That's done. I record a very small space here. I'm in my front room right now because I don't have a recording room per se at this time, as I have a family house. So I do what I can with it. But right. So yes, that's actually. You can see that there. You go. You can see the uh, the Slayer logo much better there. Freaking love that logo. Cool. Oh right, yes, so this is the proper this is what, how I can see in there thing. It's a proper uh, artwork but that tells the story of Yeah, it just it tells the whole story of Doom. Yeah, that's really freaking the illustrations on that are really really sweet. So the camera's trying to do all sorts of auto focusing because it's a webcam. So Oh, underneath that we have the instructions for ah, ha, ha, our helmet instructions we'll put that way there we go that blocks the light out of it might as well I've got no natural I'm filming this like middle of the night <laughs> I've been looking forward to the uh, tape I'll see if, if you're a, a 90s and older kid like I'm an 80s kid myself, you'll uh, you'll get why this is so exciting to have like a cassette to hold on to, like old memories and yeah, yeah, cool. And there's got it. Yeah, there's a little code on there as well that allows you to get access to your own pipe collection or the uh, Doom track. Obviously, at the moment it's just Doom because the publishers for the music had some issues with it, uh, but then obviously that's then I think they said it's a week and a half, two weeks we're looking at, and then the actual soundtrack for Doom Eternal will also automatically download on as well. So if you have got it, obviously just keep an eye on that, because I know some people didn't know that news, which I don't know how, because it was everywhere. And then, of course, we go on to the steel book itself. I'm... Yeah. It's the best. No, so I'm really sorry, guys. I've had to put the light in a really awkward situation. So I'm going to have the camera further back and everything I normally have to obviously fit everything in. So, there we go. Actually, really, I love steel books. I, I love collector's editions, everything. 
I have a show, I've just got a whole shelf up there that's just full of collector's items from all different games. So, and this, the helmet in this you will find in my live stream videos will be behind me where I have the power arm helmet on one side and this helmet's got space that's been waiting for months to go on the other side, so. Uh, yep, and also you've just got a hold the skin there. Let's get my thing. Get a thing block because that's my uh, code. But yeah, so really, uh, it's a sort of steel book edition I expect from Bethesda, like based on Fallout and things like that. It's, uh, it's the sort of thing they'd normally get. The picture on there is just beautiful. It's sort of the sort of Christ anti sort of Mickey take almost picture. And then I guess this in here must be the lithograph, which I honestly I thought they'd stuck the cellar tape directly on the picture for a second. I was about to go mad. <laughs> but no, separate piece of paper with the tape. Let's go there. <laughs> oh, you see there, oh, man. The lithograph of uh, the speaking to the heavens. I'm sure we'll find out in the game fully what that's all about. Right, obviously we just skip forward a bit as I could see there was a lot of this. Like they've got like uh, angled heads. You can probably see this one here. So you had to cut in a pattern all the way around it to get it out. I'm guessing that's to stop it just popping open and not relying on just the tape. Uh, so I've got any external noise here as well, obviously, and I'm opening a packet right next to the microphone, so I'll, I'll try and avoid that as much as possible. There you go. Here we got away with it. And here is the helmet. Ah. Wow. That is impressively light. We've got... So, oh, the paint job on this. So, yeah, I'll do a slow rotation around. Hopefully, it'll focus on that instead of me. Mm. That is actually a way, way better job than they did on the old uh, power armor. So, I'll just use a light there inside a bit. Very light, it looks like it's got a natural normal head rig inside it so pop it on a moment and find out I'll fit my beard in it as well this is a challenge <laughs> Ta -da. well i'll have to definitely do something when it comes to my beard uh <laughs> regards i'll probably tie it up before i wear this but this is uh looking awesome very comfortable to fit around. I'm actually very, very surprised how clear the visor is on this, considering how uh, the power armor helmet, the visor wasn't very clear. This looks freaking awesome. So I just had to play around there, my beard a little bit to actually get it in, as uh, the old Viking thing doesn't always work with some stuff. But it's a very comfortable helmet, very nice material. I had to play around a little bit to get the sizing right. There's a twist ring in there to fit your headpiece on. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's uh, the sort of detail they put into the front of it as well. And the visor is very clear indeed. Um, I'm actually repeating myself here with this because I'll be checking back when I go over the recording if you could actually hear me or not when I had the helmet on. Because obviously I'm not aware at the moment. So, all in all, I have to say, I think for a collector's edition, I mean, I picked this up for uh, £200. I think it's about $140, but don't quote me on that for the US. Obviously, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the box below, because I like to know the conversion rates, etc. for these videos. But it's definitely an awesome piece of kit. Uh, I think, also, well, I can't really say what my favourite bits are. I think all of it's awesome, I mean... The steel book, I said that's definitely a steel book that I absolutely love compared to some other steel books that I've had in games. And then obviously this, the history, doing, but the illustrations in this book are just absolutely wonderful. 
I mean, you know, it's just they haven't half-assed it with this. They've gone full hog to make this a collector's edition that's really worth the issue. I think part of this was the last big collector's edition that a Bethesda team did and organised was the 76 one, which obviously they had a whole host of issues with it. So they've gone simple with this one and it's worked brilliantly. Uh, obviously, you know, I said this is a just a really nice bit of nostalgia. The tape that that's so simple, it really sets it off for me. I uh, just I love the fact that it's proper old school, uh, like myself. Uh, but yeah, simple but awesome cuts. Obviously, this is the crown and jewel of it. I was hoping to show you the lights, etc., with it, but I have the wrong batteries. Uh, normally, with things like this, the batteries are included with it. I made the mistake of assuming it would be this time, but uh, I will show soon because I'll see it in the front panel here. It's got pops and batteries in there, so I will probably do a quick video at some point, just an update like Doom a week later or something, and I will feature this bad boy in it as well. Uh, as I said, it's a uh, it's a really fun helmet to wear. So it's a little bit different for me because of the beard. I know that's going to be the first thing a lot of people notice. He just beard, <laughs> but. It's definitely a piece that's worth getting. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my first proper box opening, so term, uh, for any of my games. Obviously, other collector's editions I get in the future. If you guys like this video, I'll be looking to do other ones in the future as well. I love to find content that you guys love to watch. As always, thanks for watching the channel, guys, and I will see you out there.